Okay guys, in a previous part we covered how to delete a blog post and this is Django and React JS tutorial series on how to create a blog. So in this part we are going to cover how you can create a login and a logout. But I'll not write coding from the scratch so I'll explain the code I have prepared. But no worry, I'll prepare the separate full tutorial which will comprise the register and the login uh, by using Django and React.js. So as you can see, this is our login page, which is our main page. All right. So this is our form. Okay. So let me go in our code. Okay. So inside the components create a file and I name it login.js after that let me explain some uh, source code for you as you can see so you need to import this okay after that i created two react hooks for username and password and i created one react hook for storing cookies on the browser or for manipulating of cookies and uh, the next thing, this is for uh, navigation or page redirection in React.js. This is another, okay, React hook which is to the state of user is login true. Okay, so let me show you where is our login form. So this div renders our login form, okay, up to here. So... I'll tell you scroll. So here, this is input. Okay, this is input for username. As you can see, the value is username. Okay, the placeholder is enter. Oh, the placeholder. Okay, excuse me. So this should be enter username. Okay, on change, on change is e set username e dot target dot value you know that set username is react hooks method to update the value of username okay so this applies the same to password so here um on on, on the section of password you can see the value is password across uh, name is from control per solder into password on change is um on change is uh e set password e dot target dot value all right so that's it and here we have uh a button i can show you here we have two button okay we have button for register and we have button for login okay we have almost two button okay one button for login, another is for register. Okay. That's it. But here, as you can see, we are using is login. So if <laughs> the concept is very simple, is if, oh Jesus, if user want to log in, we need to display the message that please log in. Okay. But if user don't want to log in, will display the message that please register. Let me repeat. Is log in. That's why we study the value of is log in is, is equal to true. Okay. So is log in. If user want to log in, we need to display the message that please log in. And I can show you here. And if um uh, user want to register we need it to display the message that please register let me click here so if i click register you can see please register this means that once i click register is log in value is set to false okay but if i click log in is log in value okay become true that's why you can see uh, the title change because of is login value change from true to false. 
I hope that's clear for you. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, so the next thing here, we have two button. We have button for login and we have button for register. The concept is the same. If user want to log in, we need to display the login button. But if user don't want to log in, we need to display the register button. And here on login button, we see the party we are going to implement. You can see button on a click, set login false. Okay. Um, register. But here on a click is login bit n. So let's check this. Okay. This function where it is uh, executed. Okay. So login bit n. Let me show you this function. So this is our function uh, login bit n. Okay. It takes username and password and it checks if the username and password they are null or they are null. I mean, if they are empty. So if they are not empty, okay, uh, here the, the output is username and password are set. Let me show you something here. So as we can go together. All right. So. If I click login, you can see username and password are not set. But if I put the name here, if I put the username and the password and the click in uh, on the click on login, you can see username and the password are set. Okay, so that is the purpose was to check and ensure that user does not submit an empty form. Okay, after that, here you can see there is api.service.login user. Uh, this function uh, takes username and password and it returns user token. Okay, it returns user token and save it on the browser by using React hooks set token method. Okay, if there is error, it will display here, but if Username and the password are not set. User will be navigated or will be redirected to the, uh, I mean, to the home page. Okay. So let me let me show you this method, which is login in API service. Okay. So let me come here. Okay. Let me click API service and and show you the login. So this is our login. Okay. Login, fetch, the URL is this, and the uh, post, it takes body, it is stringify body, which is uh, the username and the password. After execution, it will return a response. So it will return the token of the user, okay? So if user is present in your database, it will return the token, okay? Token number. But if user does not exist, it will return undefined token. Let me show you here. Let me show you something here. That's why I've told you that I'll need to, cre to create a separate tutorial on login and register by using Django and React.js. Okay. So let me show you something here. Very interesting. Okay. So let me refresh this. As I told you that if user is not present in database, okay, this function login user will return undefined token. Okay. Let me delete this. Okay. So let me put the wrong username and the password so as I can show you how our method login user returns undefined token. So let me say the username is Noel. And the password is Noel. So once I click login, okay, you can see my token, the value is undefined. Okay. Because he, uh, the user Noel, there is no user Noel with password Noel. Let me show you the list of our users. Okay, so let me log in here. Okay.
can see the list of users. Noel, but the password is not Noel. Okay, I can try another user. Let me say user is a demo. Password is demo. Okay, once I click login. Oh. Okay, the same you can see undefined. Okay, but if I put the correct username and the password, which is more tech. Okay. Once I click login, you can see I'm able to log in on articles. And here you can see this is my token. Okay. Console this user token is this one. So this is how to authenticate user. But not only that, here in login, mm, you need something another. You need to write this use effect hooks. Okay. It will retrieve the token from token. Okay. Then after it will compare. So here, here, this is a simple check. And I'm and, and I'm going to, to to explain for you, okay? So if the token, if user token is undefined, user should be redirected in root. I mean, in the index page of our web app. But if the token is correct, user should be redirected in articles. So this is the whole concept. So let me log out here, and uh, um application so let me log out and I show you something here let me show you something very interesting uh, uh, yeah so let me show you something here okay guys um, so this use effect hook will check if the <laughs> okay so login function okay the execution will start from here on login okay so if user is if the credential are correct i mean username and the password are correct this function okay and this function okay they will return user token and save it on the browser by using set token okay if the credential are correct the user token will be saved in on the user browser but if the username and the password are wrong undefined token will be saved in the browser so this is check so our use effect will check if token are undefined it means this user should log in once again but if the token are correct user should be redirected in articles i hope that's clear for you on login okay first thing make sure you have this react hooks the next thing Make sure you create this function login, which will receive information from the front end, send them to the back end, and return the response from back end. Okay. Then after you will have you will have to create this use effect hook. So that is all about login. So let me explain for you the log out. Okay. So log out is okay in navbar.js here you can see there is log out okay and on click log out bit n so in app.js the log out is very simple a const log out remove token my token so we remove the token which we are saved in the browser when it correct or when a user with correct credential was authenticated. I hope that's clear for login and logout. The key thing is get the concept first. 
never mind about the source code you'll upload them on my github on, on, on my github the postal but also i'll create the separate tutorial on how to log in and log out in django and uh, react js so the next thing we are going to cover is register a user okay after that after that you will set the background image on the login okay be, be, bef before doing or before implementing the functionality of registering a user in the database we will uh, we'll set up a background image to make our web app more attractive but after that we'll implement register uh, then after we'll make some we'll just do some wind up before we close the session okay i hope this session is very enjoyable for you put comment on how or what is your experience when you're creating login and register by using django and react js where do you stack where do you do well let's exchange ideas on the section of comment below all right guys